So we're just waiting in line to get our tickets from Kyoto to Osaka on the Shinkansen down McDonald's. Osaka Station itself, it's a tourist attraction. It's it's pretty much like a city. Hey guys, that's the uh, Japanese supermarket in Osaka. It's basically like the superstore in Canada. Very, very good, right? So, do you notice the lighting? The lighting is like yeah, it's so, so bright. bright. Yeah. So bright and vibrant. They've got like neon night lights. So basically, if you stay in an Airbnb in this place, like you can actually just go to the supermarket. Buy some eggs and cook for, cook for breakfast. And Osaka is just so convenient that way. Fresh egg yolk. This is the number one. So, yeah, so number two. Okay. Number, number one, two. Yeah. Okay. So, we start on eggs now. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, you gotta try that, right? What's Everyone it called? Go. Huh? What's it called? Akiyama. Barbecue, from, right? From like barbecue or like a ramen. Mm -hmm. Super. Should we have some ramen today? Of course. Ramen every day. That's given. Kasai. Everything, every dish is oversized. It's su suitable for uh, sumo wrestlers. Oh so my gosh. Like one dish is about 10, a quillum of eight, eight, 10 people it's eating. Large, uh, so that's for one person. You have to finish it. I mean, it's really cheap. It's, it's nine, that is 10 so bucks. Funny. 10 bucks for that chow mein right there. $15 for that chicken, fried chicken dish. I mean, oh I'm looking to try. That is so funny. I don't want to eat that. I really love to eat. Maybe it's like a museum. This dish we had at Kakashima. Soup. What do you think? So good. This place is so good. Yeah. Pig intestine. Pig intestine. Delicious. So good. Morning. Morning. Hey, babe, what are you doing? Just getting ready, and then we're gonna head out to go to Osaka. All right. Nice. So it's our second day in Osaka. Um, we actually slept really well last night. I think we slept like 10 or 12 hours. We slept in until about 11 o'clock this morning. We've never slept in that late on this trip, but we've been so exhausted. I uh, really needed that break. Uh, today, we go on this food journey. Uh, we were heading towards uh, the Namba and uh, Dong Habori district. These are the sh uh, two busy shopping districts and uh, I'm hoping we find something really, really good, really popular in local. And uh, 
as most Japanese say, Kyoto is about fashion and Osaka is all about food. What about Tokyo? Nobody knows. Tokyo oh, is Tokyo is is a combination of to, uh, Kyoto and Osaka. It's also on my bucket list, but I'm a little afraid because pufferfish are super toxic. Any trace amount of blood of pufferfish in your system, you would die immediately. Nationally, there's uh, about thousands of people die poisoned from eating pufferfish. So I don't even want to do that. Every year? Every year, every year. In Japan or like all Japan. the... Wow. In Japan, yeah. But that's what people come for and uh, the expert in preparing the puffer fish dish, they have to train for 10 years in order to get a license. So imagine how much time you have to do to get that. But I'm a little hesitant to uh, go inside and try it. Yeah, don't try it. It's too risky. Basically, just sit cross legged. Pretty interesting. Traditional. Yeah. Very traditional. Little side dish. Mm, it smells really good. The aroma, pork, the pork roll soup. Just a little garlic, a little kimchi, a little chives. Depends on preference. I like to be a little bit more intense and more spicy, so I want to be a little bit more. Is this the best ramen you've had? One of them. Kit Kat. 
Very interesting. And we got matcha with almonds. Matcha. Gotta give it a try. Wait, how does it taste? Oh my god, it tastes just like banana. Really? So weird. Saying, what do you want? Talk, talk, talk. And uh, after exploring the last two days, we kind of found we found that it's uh, Tokyo and Osaka are two very different cities. Just Osaka is people just riding bicycles and uh, just more relaxed. And people have more interactions with you. Uh, where Tokyo is people just kind of on the go, 
and uh, yeah, um, I think if for people who wanna wanna live in uh, Japan for a while, maybe Osaka is a good place to to start because it's just more of a. I feel like I do see a lot of more foreigners in Osaka. Next time, if you guys wanna go to Japan, might do the Osaka first and then uh, go north and see Kyoto and then and Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo will be like a huge culture shock. So you're from yeah. North America. Aquarium, which is one of the mo one of the biggest aquariums in the world. Really excited. Yeah. And then um, after that, I mean, my uh, we might go go on the Ferris wheel, you know, yeah. Saka, and just see Check the uh, views. see the city city skyline. So uh, we'll see how it goes. When you go to the aquarium, you can actually buy bundle tickets. So we're gonna bundle up the ticket with the uh, ticket to the Ferris wheel, and that's three thousand yen, as opposed to the aquarium tickets. As of today's date, is two thousand three hundred yen. So for a little bit more, you can do that experience. Uh, you could also bundle up the aquarium ticket with a 45-minute cruise around the city. You plan ahead of a time, and uh, if you can, just like do your homework. Uh, city provides for foreigners. They you provide a, a, com a combination of the tourist attractions for. Um, I think it's about fifty dollars US. So it's like five hundred five thousand yen. That includes all the tourist attractions in Osaka. So which is a, that's a pretty amazing. It's pretty deal. worth it. Yeah, it's we pretty should good have done deal. that. But, but the weather is not that great. So I mean, yeah. we kind of just select the ones that we really want to see. And uh, oh, here you go. I kind of see the uh, oh, Ferris wheel. It's huge. Check it out, you guys. My God. If you're afraid of heights, this might not be the right uh, gondola for you. They crouched down so low. I'm scared of heights. How are you feeling? Uh, I am very scared. What? Crazy that I just found out. Danny is actually afraid of heights. Um, I didn't know this the whole like four or five years that we've been together. So it kind of is interesting that you literally learn something new about each other every day. So was this worth it? It's worth it, but I'm a little scared. It'll be fine. We'll survive. Yeah. Just close my eyes. Top right now. Look at this amazing view. I highly recommend if you guys come to Osaka, come to this Ferris wheel. It's gorgeous. So we got the city on this side. And the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Surprise, surprise. 
getting ramen again. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we're just at the food court, um, just by the Ferris wheel, the aquarium. I also got noodles. What'd you get? Uh, it's like a beef, beef stew, new, uh, ramen soup. It's a pastry waffle stuffed with chocolate. A really popular one is the one stuffed with red beans. But I just, I don't know how beans can be part of dessert, so I go for chocolate. Hopefully it tastes as good as Vancouver.